my husband's parents divorced when he was six and he, was not, he did not grow up as a Christian or religious at all. But there were maybe four or five times across his growing up that his parents would come together one time a year where it was him with both of them and it was Christmas. And when he found Christ later in his life, he would talk about how Christmas always had this incredibly special reality to it, even with him having no connection to God. And it was home and it was wholeness and completion. Ultimately, his whole purpose is the sealing of relationships forever, that we will be at home eternally in his presence. And so his, his whole work here, the example that he sets before us to guide us in how to have relationships of wholeness, and then that he makes possible by bearing death, by dying with death and rising again, that all those relationships that we cherish can be whole and eternal through him. You can't help but hear Handel's Messiah when you're reading mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 15, right? And, and the, that powerful song at the end, after the hallelujah chorus, after the witness that, right, I know that my Redeemer liveth. And then you hear this question, right? Now is Christ risen from the dead? And you hear the trumpets, like he will rise again and bring about the resurrection. And then verse 28, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, death, sin, hell, the parting of relationships, the brokenness of reality, all those things are subdued unto him. The son being subject, all things under him that God may be all in all. And that's the feeling my husband had as a child. He was feeling God, right? That transcendence that we can overcome these barriers because of his subduing it all under his, his goodness and virtue and love.